Logman's day two. We're killing it. Uh, man, the most impressive thing so far has been that we have now 166 people in the challenge. It was supposed to be like five or six of us. So I'm absolutely floored and 100% honored that everybody decided to take the challenge with me. Today, I thought I would do something a little different and talk to you about a mobile sort of vlogging recording unit. If you're using your phone and you're looking for some things that you can do in order to make it just easier to move, easier to record, easier to like find a nice stationary and stable platform. You know, one of the most important parts about video is the stable platform. So I'm going to show you some ways today that can help you. And a lot of these items are relatively inexpensive and you may have some things like this laying around. So let's get started. The first situation we will cover is actually the stable platform. What I have here in my hand is a switch pod. This switch pod was created by none other than Pat Flynn himself. And it's a cool aluminum based minimal tripod that is incredible when it comes to getting your mobile film work on. What you have is this lightweight aluminum chassis. It basically just opens up like such. When you are using it in the folded mode, like such, stick your arm out and then you're recording, right? So what we want to do with that is apply a ball head. You can pick up a ball head for anywhere from, let's say 20 to about 40 bucks. This one I've had for years. It came with a sliding like wheel thing that you use to record videos. It was really whack, but the ball head is still usable. Um, so in order to get rid of a sort of cheap skater idea, I decided to keep this ball head through the rest of it out. I'm going to place it on top of the switch pod. You put this on here and one of my favorite features of the switch pod is you just turn this little thumb screw and it will attach it. Otherwise you have to spin it around like this and it just becomes a hassle. This way you can kind of spin both at the same time and sort of pick your orientation. And once it's snug, you basically have your ball head on a tripod, ready to roll. So let's place this off to the side for a second. The next thing we want to do is find an attachment that we can use to hold our phone. This is a Ulanzi. Um, these are cheap, like 15 bucks. And what you can do with this, and this is a huge phone. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max inside of a rubber case, and it will fit in the Ulanzi. You basically tighten this guy down, you have a nice solid fit. Take the plate off of this quick head, attach it to the bottom of this Ulanzi tripod holder. We take this guy and we attach it back to the tripod. So now we have a wonderful mobile recording situation. It's light, it's strong, it's not going anywhere. And at arm's length, you have a decent shot. The last thing we want to do is we want to bless up the sound. This is a Rode Video Micro. The Video Micro is a small compact microphone, extremely incredible sound. You notice a lot of people who do vlogging have this attached to their regular rigs, something like the A6400 I have that we're filming with now. When you're outside and it's very windy, it comes with the Dead Cat. Dead Cat is the industry vernacular for a device that basically helps break up the wind noise through all of this fuzz. It actually comes with a nice little attachment that has a little bit of play to it. That attachment, it keeps it from making too much noise when you walk around. You've heard videos where people are walking around and you can hear the mic rustling and this kind of helps get rid of some of that. You take this guy, which comes with the microphone, this little pigtail is a 3.5 millimeter um, cable that you plug in the back. You just pop it in like such and you have the other end which is a 3.5 millimeter cable and you can plug it into your oh you can't plug it into your iphone so that requires that you use the iphone headphone to lightning adapter there's a headphone in on that side a lightning in on that side now up until about i think iphone 11 these actually came with the phone now you're going to pick one up they're roughly around seven bucks you can get it from apple amazon wherever and you would assume that if you took this guy and this guy and plugged them together they would work well therein lies the problem you have assumed incorrectly it doesn't work this is the missing link call this guy sasquatch 
This is the Rode SE4, Sam Charlie, not Sam Echo, SC4. You can buy this under many different names, but they're basically a TRRS. You notice this guy has three lines, TRRS. It stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. So what that will allow it to do is basically reach the part of the iPhone adapter that will actually let the microphone work. You're gonna take this guy and plug it all the way into, so you end up with kind of a long and ridiculous cable, but however, now we have sound. The secret to success is gonna be, if you record, say, using the back camera, you're gonna to wanna to face the microphone that way. If you record using the FaceTime camera, you're gonna to wanna to set the microphone that way. This Ulanzi is cool because it has a, what they call a cold shoe mount. And we're gonna plug it right into the phone. You see? You have a perfectly cool vlogging rig and you're ready to go. Once you get over the embarrassment of walking around with this thing in your hand, there you have a perfectly good vlogging setup. And the only thing we need to add now is the dead cat just in case it's windy outside. So we're gonna take the dead cat and we're gonna pop it on the top. And then now you have a cool vlogging rig. Look, mom, I'm vlogging. If you are gonna use the FaceTime camera, you're facing it like such. If you're gonna use the back camera and use your Apple Watch so you can see your framing, a la India Delgado's tutorial, then you just flip the microphone around the other way. Now you have a nice, strong, stable platform to vlog from with a few simple things that you can easily pick up from Amazon, Best Buy, sometimes even Target and Walmart, you can give yourself a little bit more stable platform in order to get your vlogging on. Once again, we use the switch pod, a simple generic ball head, a Ulanzi phone grip, and again, phone grips come in many sizes. You probably have one already laying around your house, and the Rode Video Micro. Now, one other thing to add to this situation is that the Rode Video Micro has been, say, recreated a couple of times by Movo and Boya. The Movo situation runs roughly $39, and the Boya situation runs $32. Those are very similar to what the Rode Video Micro is, and the Rode Video Micro comes in at $99. We got stable platform to vlog from. I hope you enjoy this. This is Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you can use some of this to find an easier situation to get your field recording on. And we'll see you tomorrow in the next Vlogmas video. If you'd like to find out more about the Vlogmas video challenge, make sure you jump over to our Facebook group. All the links will be in the description. And don't forget, take some time to press that subscribe button, smash the like button, so you never miss out on another fantastic video. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Aloha.